In this video we're going to look at bringing images into the design environment in PolyCAD. The reason that you do this is that often we have a lot of 2D information either electronically or in paper form. Paper we can scan in but it means that if we have some sort of representation of a 3D object in this 2D form we can assemble the images in 3D and trace over them and turn them into a 3D object like a hull form and this is particularly useful when you have a lot of 2D lines plans. So this is what we're thinking about creating. Assembling a number of images in 3D, being able to trace over the top so that we can generate the definition of our whole form. So things that we need to think about, we're obviously going to need an image file. That needs to be in Windows bitmap format. You'd have to use a, an image editing software to change the format if possible. And if you're going to do that, 24-bit color is preferred. It's also preferable to have a white or black background. PolyCAD allows you to swap between the two inside the design environment. Uh, you'll also need to know the calibration and the dimensions associated with those points in the image. So for a lines plan, the grid background might be a, a helpful kind of setup, as you'll see later in how we use that to, to calibrate the image. You also need to consider that the image is going to be resampled inside the software and this will be based on the capability of your graphics hardware and the software drivers. So using this image as an example, what we could do is identify another calibration marks. So these would be things like the center line, I chose the third buttock, we could go with the bottom water line there, and also the deck. And what we need to do is pick out some dimensions for those points. So we have 0, 1, 1.462 for the uh, marks in the y direction, and 1.161, and 1, 3.39 for the deck points. So we're going to look at importing an image into my uh, design environment. I've got uh, prepared an image which consists of some sections, profile, and some water lines. Uh, I need to think about which plane that I'm going to put it in. So if I'm going to put uh, the sections in next, then I'll switch to the section view. And then on the curve menu, use the image plane to draw a rectangle. So in here we can see the files that I've got. We'll go with the sections. And when we open up, we can see that, that brings a, a section into my view. Now using the standard tools of editing, pressing F2, I can then scale the image in my design world. The challenge is with the boundaries is that they're approximate to what I want to work with. They're not really calibrated. So I need to use Im uh, information within the image to, to specify how I want to set this up in my world. So if we turn on the, the scaling selection, we see a set of dotted lines. And if we edit the scaling selection, we have a box that we can draw around the something. So what I've done is that I've identified the center line, the third buttock, the lower water line, in fact that one there, and the deck water line to be my calibration points. So if I set them up and drag my box to the locations that I want to use, I'm effectively calibrating my image. And I think it's, center line is in fact there. So once I've done that, I then hit the Rescale Image to Window Dimensions button. Now this brings me up a box. We can see the box there reflects the sides of that rectangle. So we can just type the numbers in. So the center line will obviously be 0. The outer buttock that I've chosen will be 1.462. The lower water line is 1.161. And the upper water line is 3.39. So once I've done that, you can see now that the image changes size and it starts to come into a more sensible, sensible shape, a sensible scale. I can now finish editing that if I want to. We'll turn off the scaling selection. If I need to, I can reverse the image so that I see it in black and white. At this stage, I could decide that I want to digitize over it. So let's start by, by drawing a polyline. So we'll see. At this point now, that curve disappears behind the image. So what we need to do is put that slightly behind so that we can pick that up. And now we're away. We can just dive in 
and digitize onto that, that point there. So if I put a point there, you can add it in. We can carry on down, refining that shape like so. So there's one curve. And we can go on for another one and just work through the process. So compared to measuring from a plan, this is much, much quicker. Uh, it's not tedious. We know we're working to a scale. We can see if the image is distorted. If we want to go back and refine something, we can always add more points. We'll carry on. So sometimes the, the images get quite busy and we'll need to go back and interpret them. So we can go back down the bottom here and follow the trace line. So it looks like it goes there. So you can see now that we've, we've got those curves there, we've traced that fairly quickly and it's, it's moving on forward. So the next stage would be to, to take these curves and shift them in 3D to their respective location. Here we've got another example that we could use, uh, a very simple example, and we'll go for that process next. So we'll do that again with the really simple example. So first of all, we'll set the right view in our design world uh, with the sections again, and we'll insert our image plane like so. Uh, we'll find our simple image. And there we go. And now we can go through the process of scaling that. So if we zoom in, we can just drag our rectangle up to the right positions. And then we just rescale the image. And handily, I have the numbers on my image but that doesn't necessarily happen very regularly in real life. So we put in the dimensions as we see them on screen and that rescales our plan to the shape that we want there. And it's that simple. So summarizing the stuff that we've covered in this video, you're gonna need an image, a Windows bitmap, preferably 24-bit color, and perhaps with a white or black background. You'll also need to know the calibration points so that you can set that um, image up accurately in 3D. You're going to need to draw the plane. After that, you get to select the image. Then what you need to do is match the selection rectangle to the calibration points on the image. And finally, you associate the dimensions with those points and the image is rescaled.